Bank of America is trying a new incentive to get its workers fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The company announced Wednesday it would donate $100 towards hunger relief for each U.S. employee who gets their COVID booster shot. Employees must show proof by updating their booster card info in the employee vaccine portal by the end of January. Bank of America said the charitable donation will go towards local food banks and hunger relief organizations. The company said the effort could direct up to $10 million to fight hunger across America. Bank of America does not have a vaccine mandate, but it strongly encourages employees to get fully vaccinated, including boosters. Well, arson investigators in Tennessee say a New Year's Eve fire at a Planned Parenthood facility was intentionally set. Planned Parenthood of Knoxville called the act of arson appalling and said they would rebuild. Fortunately, the facility was closed for renovations and no one was inside when the fire started. Knoxville police say the Planned Parenthood office has been a target before. In January of 2020, someone fired into the building, shooting out the front windows and putting bullet holes in the reception area. A $10,000 reward is being offered for information leading to the prosecution of the suspect who set the building on fire. The country takes a moment to reflect one year after the January 6th Capitol riots. The president and vice president addressed the nation on the anniversary of the deadly attack, taking aim at former President Donald Trump's involvement in the riot. Speaking from the Capitol building, he and Vice President Harris delivered a sharp rebuke of Trump, debunking the lies that the former president and other Republicans have spread about the 2020 election. Well, there continues to be an uneasy tension in Washington this morning, following a day of memorials and difficult memories a year after the deadly attack on the Capitol, a day that included President Biden's harshest rebuke of former President Trump since the insurrection, words that struck a chord on both sides of the aisle on Capitol Hill. And Jay Gray, Jay Gray excuse me, has a closer look at what may come next. My country tis of thee. Overnight candles and prayers on the steps of the Capitol. Help us to be instruments of your peace, instruments of your love, and instruments of your healing. The scars a year later still deep. The memories for survivors still overwhelming. Ducking, crawling, under, over railings, hands, knees, the sounds, the smells. We had a front row seat to what lies, hate, or plain old misinformation conjures. Not allow no one to place a dagger at the throat of democracy. Speaking from Statuary Hall, an area overrun by the angry mob that day, well, President Biden forcefully blames former President Trump for the insurgents and partisan divide that remain. His bruised ego matters more to him than our democracy or our constitution. He can't accept he lost. Mr. Trump responding in a series of written statements, criticizing President Biden, taking a swipe at the congressional investigation of the attack, and once again falsely claiming the 2020 election was stolen, calling the events of the day political theater. But clearly, the moments of silence and memorials here the emotions, the painful memories of those lost, for many, are anything but an act. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington.